So I'm really excited because I got a delivery from Mugu. I've spoken about this brand on my channel before and I'm super excited. I ordered some cleanser, some exfoliator and a couple of bits of makeup. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this makeup. I've looked into it, it looks to be good. I really like the brand as a whole and I'm super excited to try their makeup. It's quite a small brand, it's an Australian brand. They only test on people, not on animals, so I'm really, really chuffed with that. The branding is Mugu, but it's not actually um, made with milk. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to um, use it. I've spoke about it before about the story behind them. I'll link it in the description box down below. Really, really interesting. So I am so excited. Look at these. Ah, I have a lipstick. I am so excited to try these lipsticks because, as you know, my mouth and lips, particularly my upper lip, is a real problem. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, look. Oh my god, that's so cute. Ooh. Look. Oh. Oh my goodness. So this one is the guava pink colour. It's not very pink to be honest. It's less pink than I thought. And wow. Oh my goodness, this is the Maca Nude. So these are the two colours. Look how gorgeous those are. Oh my goodness. I really like that the colours are blue. Then I also got their lip liner as well. Shows you how much of a makeup novice I am. I was like, why is this not coming off? Because there's some packaging. There's some... A seal. Oh. seal that I have to... To get off which I didn't realize that you have to do. Ah! So I also got their lip liner as well. Gosh I'm excited to use that and that goes beautifully with both of these colors so I can't wait to first patch test these and then I also got the eyebrow pencil as well so I'm gonna have to do some patch tests of all of these and then you might get a lip and lip liner trial. <laughs> I was going to say tutorial. I'm going to be looking up the tutorials first because I really don't have a clue. <laughs> so it's a few days later now and I'm going to do swatch tests of the makeup that I have bought from Megu. So we'll see how this goes. I'm first going to use this one. So this is the MAC Nude Vegan Lipstick and I'm so excited to see what this product is like. It's quite dark, shiny. It's quite nice that this is actually cardboard rather than plastic which is really nice. I'll just... Hmm, wow. That's a lovely colour. Wow. So that's the first one. I did have to do quite a few goes over of that one. That's a beautiful colour. It's got a very nice shiny golden undertone. This one is the guava pink. So I'm just going to pop that down underneath. Oh yeah, that's way more pink in colour. Nice. So they're both quite shiny in colour. Wow, you can actually really see that that is so much more pink. So, so much more pink. I actually feel like I suit this top one a lot more. I've got all of the undertone. I don't really suit pinks as much. Um, but yeah, this one, I guess they're really nice for different occasions. So now I'm going to try this lip liner. So this is the only lip liner that the that Mugu do, and this one is called Pinky Nude. So I'm guessing that this lip liner goes with all the colours. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually do a line um across the top of them so that we can see. Oh wow, gosh, that is really nice. 
that was a lot easier to apply than the lipstick. I might just do it in between so we can see the comparison between the two. Yeah, you can definitely see that it does go with both colours. This is really quite strong in colour actually, so I guess you'll have to be quite a light touch <laughs> rather than like major 90s. So I'm really looking forward to trying that as well. And then finally, I've um, picked up the brow pencil. Not that I need much help filling in my brows. I just thought I would try try it as it's um I'm very much a makeup novice and I thought brows seem to be easier than eyeliner. I'm really really not used to putting products like anywhere near my eyes so I thought brows may be better. So oh gosh that was tricky. We'll just do a little swatch up the top here. Gosh that's a lot less creamy um, than the lip liner. Hmm. Very, very nice. That's the brow pencil up the top there. So we'll see how this swatch test goes. I'm going to leave this on for the rest of the day. Obviously, you wouldn't keep makeup on longer than a whole day, so I'm going to leave this on and see how they react. Obviously, it's going to be quite hard to see if I indeed react to one which specific one has caused me to have a reaction, but at least I'll be able to see if I have any outbreaks from that. I left it a few days, as you can tell. Um, this skin here has started to calm down quite a lot. I do have quite a sore mouth, so I don't think I'll be using these anytime soon. I also don't have anywhere to be going or anyone to <laughs> impress, but I'm going to try these out as well. I'm also going to be doing a skin cleanse this evening, so you will have, which you'll see in an upcoming video. I've got a couple of new products, so I'm going to try those out as well. Or you may have already seen that video. I'm not sure. We'll see how we feel. <laughs> so I've got a few things from Lux Skin, so I'm going to try those out tonight. And once I have been able to tell if I have reacted to these or not, then I shall put them on my face. <laughs> and we'll see how bad my makeup skills are. Right, so I am in my bedroom. And today I'm going to now try the lipstick and the lip liner. So I won't lie, I am a makeup novice as they would say. And so I'm going to try this out not for the very first time because I won't lie, I didn't want to embarrass myself and I have practiced <laughs> a little bit um, with my um sort of makeup skills it doesn't mean that I am going to be any good but um yeah I did the patch test it was fine I did do this a couple of days ago and I did have a very sort of sensitive upper lip but I was doing a little bit of exfoliation around my upper lip to make sure that I didn't have like loads of flaky skin around my mouth for doing um lips so <laughs> I have watched some YouTube videos of the experts and the girls who literally you know, transform their faces and stuff but anyway I'm going to try this I know that what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my natural line of my lips to start with and then I will start to overline as I get further out and then you sort of colour in <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do just now. I think I've mapped it up already. <laughs> it currently just looks like I've just like drank wine or something. <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> and then I know that you like start to shade in. So now I'm picking up the Megu Dusty Girls Vegan Lipstick in the shade Mecca Nude. <laughs> uh. mm. Here goes nothing.
it's not a very uh, creamy texture, as I know vloggers would say. Here is the first shade. So it's quite dark, or I think it's quite dark. I'm not really sure because I don't wear it that often. I'm actually just going to pop on top of it the lighter one, the sort of more pinky tone. Actually, that's really nice. I guess if I was wearing something, you know, not so pink, but um, I'll put, pop the pinky tone just on the top. That one gives more of a contrast to the lip liner. I don't even know if I'm applying this right. I don't even know if there's a a technique to putting on lipstick. I maybe mean, I should have looked that up. <laughs> I'm probably completely butchering. I'm probably even up, I'm probably meant to apply it with the other end, you know. I think I prefer this pinky shade, but it's maybe just to do with what I'm wearing. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I think that looks really quite natural. I'm pleased. Let me see it in a more so this is in the natural light, so you can see it's a bit more pink. It maybe goes a bit better with my pink top that I'm wearing. It's obviously really quite um, getting quite dark outside, but I mean it's only like two in the afternoon. <laughs> but yeah, I think that goes really nicely with what I'm wearing. Fingers crossed it doesn't sort of affect my upper lip too much. I think this would be really nice for if I was going to like a wedding or something. I'm actually really not used to seeing my lips with any makeup on or my any of my face at all to be honest. I can see how like the actual size of my lips like I'm not I'm not used to seeing them like that so it's um a bit strange for me but fingers crossed I can continue to oh gosh I clearly need some more <laughs> I need to be better with a bit more of a steady hand so now I think I could try and sort of fill in some of these brows I've also watched a brow tutorial so we'll see how this goes <laughs> Let's do those now. And now that I'm going to brush these up out, I'm very, very fortunate that I have a lot of brow hair. Um, I have also got a really dark brow hair. Actually, maybe I'll take you up here so it's a bit lighter. So I have learned, as I said, that brows are sisters, not twins. Um, so I'm going to just lightly draw them in. And do my little strokes upwards. And obviously when I had topical steroid withdrawal, my eyebrows took a major hit because they actually used to be a lot fuller than what they even are now. I know that they're pretty good, but I actually um, find that I lost a lot of hair, which I've spoken about quite a few times, and I thought it was really obvious in my eyebrows. I'll put a picture up. Um, if I can find one with, because I was there, I wasn't taking loads of pictures with very few eyebrows, um, and they were really like congested with like skin, and yeah, it was not a not a very good time. This brow pencil situation is going to to really help, and I'm sure that some of you watching will know the feeling of having skin being stuck in your eyebrows when you're going through like extreme peeling which this time last year is what I was going through. Was that meant to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually just doing this with like the camera as a mirror rather than using a proper mirror, which is probably not what the, the famous makeup people do. But yeah, goodness me, that looks, that looks quite good. I'm quite pleased with that actually. Yeah, it's just like little subtle changes. Goodness, I feel like a, a different person. Yeah, fingers crossed these react, um, you know, positively to my skin and I can use them more often. I think I am so used to not wearing makeup, I think I'll predominantly stick to not wearing any makeup. But it'd be really nice if I could even use these for going to see like weddings and going out and stuff like that. I don't think I'll ever be a pro at makeup and... I don't know if I want to be, but it would be nice to sort of feel a bit more done up at certain occasions like weddings. So, but yeah, I can't praise the Mugu products enough. Um, I've absolutely loved them and I really encourage you to have a look at them. They're all not tested on animals. They're 
really really nice quality i really like the blue packaging actually rather than a lot of makeup is either black yeah like black packaging um but i think blue is quite nice it's quite cheery um and yeah if you're interested i shall link them in the description box below i know that i'll definitely be buying from this company again i definitely think i need to start exploring their makeup further <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> so i just thought before i go i'll just put the the darker shade on in this light so that you can see it a bit better so so yeah that's a very subtle difference you can see that it's a bit darker which i think is maybe good for like autumn obviously i'm wearing pink just now so i do actually think that the pink one goes better with what i'm wearing um but i think this one would be a really nice option for more sort of autumnal and winter months whilst the pink one is probably a bit better for spring summer however i do have pink on just now so maybe i'm just trying to hold on a little bit to spring summer but yeah i'm also really really pleased with this color i think it's really really natural and the lip liner actually goes well with both of them <laughs> don't at me for my terrible makeup skills i am very much learning as a novice so if you have any tips for me don't be afraid to let me know in the comments down below but yeah i'm really pleased um, with the way that this very very bare minimal <laughs> makeup look has turned out i really hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more makeup videos <laughs> from me give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you in the next one. Oh, i'm like oh i've got like lipstick on my fingers anyway <laughs> see you in the next one bye